the numbers, the triple-double from LeBron James and Curry. Missing shots we've seen him hit all season long in what has been an electrifying Game 7 here at Oracle Arena. And Mike, Ty Lue elects to take out Tristan Thompson, insert Richard Jefferson. Offensively, that'll give him more space. But if it's not a timeout, defensively, that's a real challenge for the Cavaliers against the likes of Curry and Thompson. Each team has a foul to give as we come up on a minute remaining. And they're putting Curry in the pick and roll, trying to get him on Irving. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good. Kyrie Irving from downtown. And the Cavaliers by three. And I like the no timeout call by Steve Kerr. Love picks up Curry. Curry steps back, fakes a three, drives again, shut off nicely. Bound to green, seven to shoot. Curry fakes the three, steps back, crossover, puts up a three. Rebound James with what, 30 seconds remaining. What a spectacular job by Love. Irving on the drive, goes inside, lost it, gets it back and finds Love. There's a seven second difference between shot clock and game clock. And they had a foul to give, so Barnes fouls him there. But that's a bad foul, Mike. That Absolutely. gives him three extra seconds. And what was Kyrie Irving doing in transition? Okay. Game now, now it's four points difference between shot clock and game clock. Cavaliers have one timeout left. Can go in the backcourt in the last two minutes to get it. But they've got to manage this clock. They don't want to go early. Irving drives to James. Misses the jam, but fouled. James will shoot two free throws as he goes down hard with 10.6 remaining. And Mike, the Cavaliers leading by three. And Mike, that's a good play by Draymond Green. That's a championship play because if he gets the dunk, it's basically over. To the paint. LeBron takes the spill. Hopefully he's all right, but that's the right defensive play by Draymond Green. James holding on to that right wrist a bit. And the medical staff and almost the entire team for the Cavaliers, the entire bench running down to see if he's okay. Ten point six seconds remain. Cleveland was down eight in the third quarter, down four here in the fourth, and now lead by three. Let's see the play once again. A great find from Irving and Draymond Green. That's that's a clean foul. It's a foul. It sends him to the line, and you see LeBron goes down hard. Fortunately, he's up walking to the bench. The big thing on that injury is Cleveland had to take their last time out. So if they have trouble getting the ball in, if Golden State scores, it's going to, you cannot have any more timeouts. So James will go to the free throw line. A hard fall. He's seven of eight from the line. Holding on and clenching that right fist. I can't say enough about the job Kevin Love did on that last possession defensively against the two-time MVP in Curry. Warriors have two timeouts remaining. Stays a three-point game. And Mike, as a player, there's no pressure right now. You're up three. Worst case scenario, you got to give him one free throw. That should be the mindset. I missed it. You got to step up and knock this free throw down if you're LeBron James. Warriors will no doubt call timeout. Miss or make here from James. Rattles in the second. Four-point game. Timeout Golden State. Cleveland does have a foul to give. LeBron James now with 27 points, 11 rebounds and 11 assists. Some huge plays in the fourth quarter for Cleveland, including this one. They came out of the timeout set to get Steph Curry on Kyrie Irving. They get exactly what they want. Everybody out of my way. It's time to dance. Get some one-on-one, -on -one, lulls them to sleep, forces a late contest. 
That's a big time offensive play by Kyrie Irving, but it's a play he's made his entire life. The ability to score and flat out get it done on the offensive end. Irving now with 26 and back in Cleveland. These fans realize they're 10.6 seconds away now from a championship. And I'm not sure I like Shumpert on Curry in this situation. Do you use your foul right here? I would say yes. I'd be on the top side. I would make them go to their second play. And you can't forget about Mo Spates either. A great point. I totally agree. I take the foul on this possession, forcing them to take it out again. Curry runs off. Iguodala looking. Thompson catches. Thompson, a couple of dribbles, head fake, tied up, throws it in to Green, and a foul on the entry pass. That's the foul to give. And now they'll take it out of bounds with 6.5 remaining. And you got to make sure you're in nobody's area to allow them to knock down a three and you get contact. I lost a, a playoff game on a phantom four-point play to Jeff Van Gundy. Iguodala to inbounds. Shepard. Trying to stay with Curry, catches, one dribble, steps back, puts up a three, won't go, rebound tip taken by Spades, final second, it's over, it's over! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! The Cavaliers are NBA champions! Cleveland's long sports nightmare has ended. The drought is over. 52 years. Time to celebrate a title. And the emotions for LeBron James, who delivers on his promise to come home and bring a championship to his beloved hometown. And of course, the disappointment, the stunning disappointment at the other end. James Jones, his longtime teammate, been with him for all six of these consecutive finals. And an emotional Teron Lou. What a scene. An emotional scene for LeBron James. These diehard fans, so passionate. They so love their teams. Decades of heartbreak of being teased, but it never diminished their passion. And now they're rewarded with an NBA championship. As always, the terrific sportsmanship. So much more to come here from Oracle Arena as LeBron James and the Cavaliers win the NBA championship.